love you. And you're so sweet. Hey piggy people. So today I want to share with you some changes we made in the room. So I decided to reorganize. So up here is the herd. So normally we had Annabelle and Annalise and then Angus and Autumn in the back. But I decided to switch things up because I really didn't like Angus and Autumn in the back anymore. And since the sisters get along now, I felt like they could move back to where they originally were. So the reason I had moved things around before was Annabelle seemed really sad and lonely when she was divided back there. So I had moved her up here. So anyway, long story short, I decided to put things back how I once had them. So the herd now has like basically a T shape. Hello Pecan. Well, there's Miss Reese. So this is kind of like their main hay area. And there's little Ray. Um, Apple has gone into the hay. Velvet is in that tunnel there. And there's Hucky. So this area here is just kind of like beds and tunnels right now. And I thought maybe trying to keep the hay all in one section would help keep it tidy. So their cage is um, a 3 by 12 so they did lose one grid worth, so it was a 3 by 13 but the reason is I wanted to give these girls a 3 by 5 again just to give them a little bit more room and then now Angus and Autumn over here have a 3 by 4 and a half. so the pairs upgraded just a little bit and the herd only lost one grid worth but Yes, but I think that's okay. Is it okay, Tubbies? Yeah, you're a good person and you like to share. So here is Annabelle and Annalise. Annabelle seems a little bit weirded out about being over here, but she has been out and eating. And Annalise seems great as well. So I do really like that they have another grid area. So. They have an extra one by three area and it's kind of crazy like you think on one hand that that doesn't seem like that much but when you're organizing their cage you realize how much more room that gives you to put things around so I really like it. So they're right by Angus and Autumn and they can still see the herd because I don't need any plexiglass for these guys. So Angus and Autumn are back here. Here's Mr. Angus. Um, I would thought that maybe these guys were going to be a little bit creeped out when I moved them over here because they're a little more shy. But they actually were doing just fine. There's Autumn sleeping right at the moment. Because Autumn was like right out in the hay pile sleeping earlier. So she didn't care, which is great. I didn't know how they would react. So I'm pretty pleased with it. So I did a really deep clean. So first I moved the herd out of this way clean this entire section, put these guys in, move the herd farther down, cleaned out this section, put those two in, and then I worked on cleaning this entire back area, and I took all the plexiglass that's surrounding the coroplast, because apple and huckle are chewers, so anyway, I took all that stuff down, took it upstairs to the bathtub, and scrubbed the heck out of it to clean it all. You wouldn't believe how dirty it looked just from like pee, veggie spray, all gross stuff like that. So I washed all of the plexiglass, washed all the coroplast for all the cages, and then I set the plexiglass up there and moved everybody over there. Then I cleaned out this section and then I was able to take off that divider that was there in the little canopy part. And that was that. I think the whole time it took me about just over two hours to wash and clean everything but it's kind of nice to deep clean the cages because it's been a while since you can really get in all the cracks and crevices of the coroplast so as yucky as it is it was nice to get in there the coroplast like isn't too bad there's just certain parts where pee has slipped down or there's a bunch of hay or crappy pellets that have got under the liners so it was nice to just really deep clean 
and it was really nice to get that plexiglass clean. It was just crazy how dirty that gets. So, yeah, it's late at night, so that's why the windows aren't open and it's kind of dim in here. I still got some stuff to clean up and need to fill up some more water bottles, but I just wanted to show you guys. There's Miss Autumn. Hi, sweetie. How are you? She's so cute because she always has her little foot sticking out the front when she's sleeping. Oh, well, looks like she has the hiccups. So it's going to be a lot nicer because now I feel like I can reach Angus and Autumn so much easier. So that's a bonus. Hey little sweeties. So hopefully those girls don't mind being over there. They'll be by a nice big window. What are you doing there Reesey? Doing some kicks. Are you trying to get comfy? No, oh, we're done. Off we go. Is a velvet getting too close to your bum? Do you guys hear that? Apple's whining. Well, velvet, you're basically eating hay right at her bum. Velvet doesn't care. Velvet has no boundaries. She does not care how close she gets to pigs. She just likes to be close. Apple is not happy about it though, but Velvet does not care. It's okay, it's just Velvet. I know she's a bit silly, isn't she? Oh, Velvet. Alright guys, so um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you guys like it this way? Even if you don't, too bad. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!